How's it going guys? Bede from the band Castle Coma here from Sydney, Australia. We're out on the uh, Alt Nation tour with Big Data and Fitness. And uh, welcome to Bus Invaders. This is our current bus. We're already hitting the stadiums with the big money. Life's moving up. That is not true. This is our bus. We call this the White Whale. She's a beautiful 2015 vehicle. And we've had her for only a month. So God bless. Come and look inside. Welcome to the front section of the massive tour bus that we are traveling in. As you can see, we've got all sorts of things. We stole this from a restaurant because they had five of them and a lot of farts happen in our car. So every time a fart happens, you just pop this bad boy, put it there, and everyone's happy for like a minute. Our entertainment, only the finest. UE Boom, give us a sponsorship, hook it up, get it going. On occasion, the Ox Cord works, not too bad. We've got all things from Brit Pop to Hip Hop to Irish music to Gregorian chants, all comes through this bad boy and plays. We've got some hot peanuts from a long time ago at another gas station, or as we call them, petrol stations. We've got a lanyard. We played this uh, festival for 104.5 like a week ago. That was quite a fun. This is our drummer's dumb new phase where he's wearing these stupid granny glasses. Uh, he bought these for like $2.99 at a Goodwill store. And uh, sort of every time he puts them on, we all die a little bit inside because it's the least cool thing in the car. Other than that, I mean, Starbucks French Roast. Starbucks, the greatest coffee store in the world. I have my favorite order, I get it every day. God bless Starbucks. We share the driving in this band. Uh, it's not the most desirable role, but we do have one guy in the band that's six foot eight, so we try and stick him in that seat as much as possible, so he stops lying on us. His legs are very big. We mix it up. Luckily, we now have three rows, so you can get one happy driver, one happy passenger that keeps the driver awake, and then everyone gets to lie down one row at a time. So we mix it up in this band. We're all very talented drivers except for the guitarist. He sucks and he once ran over a dead wombat and if you don't know what a wombat is, Google it. Hello and welcome to row two. This is the most prestigious row because it doesn't bounce. There's lots of good shit here. We've got this Monopoly card game because we always fight over normal Monopoly so we, we upgrade it to the card game. It's quicker and easier. Golf balls. Golf is up there with one of the most dumb sports in the world and it's only for rich old people and the four other members of this band. I hate it, it takes too long. My neck pillow. You can never tour without a neck pillow, it's your best friend. Chicago Bulls, I do not go for this team, but you gotta know your market. We're playing Chicago tonight, so I'll probably wear it. Get the fans excited. This is protein powder for our guitarist, Tommy. He's got the muscles, he's the sex appeal of the band, so of course he has to eat this crap. I think it's disgusting. This is what I use, oats. I try to eat these every morning, but the problem is we rarely get breakfast time because we're asleep. But this is how you poo super consistently every day. So I recommend this to all constipated people out there. Oats. And prunes, as my grandmother said. Seven's too many. Four's not enough. You gotta have five. You know, shit like a dream. Other than that, as you can see under our seats, I don't know if you can get a visual here, we've got these Ziploc bags because we've got to carry all this merch with us. We're trying to make some cash. And we've got a Zoom mic and we film it. I mean, everything else is boring. Oh yeah, here we go. Another, another endorsement for the great Starbucks. God bless. That's, this is my seat. Second row, here we go. We've got more merch. This is some Tennessee Titans team that our bass player wears when we go to Nashville. I mean, you've got to know your market, people. Keep wearing that merch. And in the back, uh, this is a no parking sign. This is a long story, but we had a huge night the other night in Detroit. We couldn't get a park out the front of the place. So we just happened to like come across this area and we just took this off it. It was outside a church and then we had to take it with us. But don't worry, it's very cheap. And we're going back to Detroit and we're gonna return it in a week's time, so don't worry. That same night, our guitarist Tommy he had two pints of beer, and then he was playing so hard on the stage, 
He rocked, ripped his arm, hit his amp, passed out, and pissed all over himself. I'm not joking. This is the kind of things that happen in this band rock and roll, man. This is a nice new 2015 Chevy. We've upgraded from a 2003 Ford E350. We had that thing for one year. We bought it off a Croatian guy in LA for 2,000 bucks and it had done 480,000 miles and it died on us twice. This is the big boot area. As I say, uh, we have that guy in our band, Neil, who's six foot eight. But not only is he a weird person, but he always has to strip completely naked when he drives long distances because of the heat. So that's a real issue for the four other males in the band when you have to like sit next to a completely naked guy because he's overheating. So sometimes we just let him rest back here. That's why we put the cardboard down for the sweat. And uh, everyone's happy. So we just make our way around this big country, this beautiful vehicle, bringing our Ziploc merch and our blow up mattress. Try and stick two fully grown men on a blow up mattress. You know you're in a rock and roll band. This is where we store the gear. It's been a massive like change for us because we used to have only two rows but because of the naked thing we've had to go to three so everyone avoids Neil so now we're just trying to compensate by we stand our gear up tall now we use these straps we keep it tight everything has its perfect place and we basically leave it to our drummer patch who is really good at Tetris who, who just packs it every night and I don't lift anything so it's absolutely perfect and then we close it all up the other thing is I got the most luggage so the boys aren't liking me right now because I bought a huge bag on this tour and they all have those small carry-on bags. So that's kind of going under people's feet. But yeah, life on the road, you pretty much get up, you pack the car, you go to sound check, you sleep, you wake up, you eat, you play the gig, you pack the car again, and you pass out in the alcoholism that you live in. God bless. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. Bead from the band Castle Coma. Maybe next time we do this, we'll be on a huge bus or a private jet. Who knows, we could still be in this and the band could be dead. So, thanks for listening. While you're here, check out our latest album, the debut, self-titled. Here are the boys, sexy as ever. I got nothing else to say, God bless, see you later.